Really excited about this week. Uh, great opportunity to play a really good Army team, 20th anniversary of September 11th. It's a great honor to play in that game. I can't think of a better environment. Um, I know our team will be very, very proud uh, to be a part of that and should be a good football game. Looking forward to it. With that said, questions. Pretty good, um, you know. We, we got a injury. Josh Simon has a has a knee injury, which is uh, disappointing. So we'll see how that progresses. Um, but uh, other than that, we'll, we'll get some guys back. You know, we'll hopefully we can get a Dalvin Smith back. Uh, still got a couple guys with some bumps and bruises, but pretty healthy for the most part. With Josh's injury, will he be out Saturday night? I don't know yet. Well, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. He's he's trying to work through all those things. Uh, Coach, what does it mean just to play Army on 9-11 and have that opportunity to, I guess, have that big stage and play on that day? Uh, it, it's a great opportunity. What a what a great platform to showcase our team. Uh, I know our team is really excited to, to be there. And um, Army's a great campus. It's a great stadium, great atmosphere. I, you know, the pageantry of college football on a, on a day like that is going to be tremendous. So just really excited to have that opportunity. And there's a great honor to be able to play in that game. You know, you played Army back in 2019, your first year here. Obviously, the rushing offense is really good, but you guys, you know, out Army them pretty much. 17-8 win. Uh, just that defense performance to have that year, uh, how do you translate to have this year? Well, I, I tell you, you know, they're a really good football team. Um, Coach Munkin's done a great job there. Um, they got really good quarterbacks who know how to run the system. They got a big fullback that's 260 pounds. He's hard to tackle. Um, they just wear you down, you know. And as you could see in their first game, they, they did a, a spectacular job. To answer your question, I guess you got to army them back <laughs> like we did. I mean, you got to play ball control offense. You got to be able to run the football, eat up the clock. Um, you know, it may be a, a boring football game, but that's kind of the formula is, is, you know, don't have penalties, don't have turnovers, got to be able to run the football, hold the football, you know. Um, and, and that's what we were able to do in 2019. It worked for us. And, and obviously defensively, uh, we were able to contain them. But they're, they're a much better football team, much better football team in 2019. And uh, so it'll take everything we got for sure. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I, I, that's the one thing I've always wanted to have is a balance. You know, it, it's whatever it takes to win. Every opponent is different. So, you know, when we first were starting with the offense and I was talking to Coach Kitley, I said, you know, we have to be able to mold what we've done in the past and what's new. And I think we've done a good job so far. So this is one of those games where you got to control the line of scrimmage. you got to, you got to establish the run. you got to – be able to hold the football, have long drives. You know, th those are the th those are the ways that you know those are the things that give you an opportunity to win. So uh, we will play on our strengths. Obviously, Bailey's a good quarterback. We got some good skill there. Uh, so when the opportunity arises for us to try to take a shot or, or throw the football, we will. You know, we'll take what they give us. So we just have to get into the game and, and see what they're giving us. All right, coach, you talked about establishing the run game. Are you going to keep a that Probably we'll keep a, a rotation going. You know, I, I like our running back group right now. Um, you know, hopefully Noah will be back in the mix this week. You know, we get to add him to that. And uh, so, you know, we'll see. I would say you're going to see a mix of guys in there. You know, kind of going off of that, uh, Kyle was a guy that didn't get a lot of hype throughout preseason and stuff. How did he kind of emerge as that number two for uh, UT Martin? He had a great camp. You know, was very consistent, strong runner, kind of steady Eddie, you know, just always getting positive yardage. Um, so, you know, he showed us enough to go play him and did a nice job in, in his first game, you know. So I think you'll you'll continue to see more of him. But, you know, you look at, you got Adam Cofield, who we really like. You get Noah back. You got Kyle. You got Jakari Moses. You got CJ. I mean, so we, we got a good stable of backs back there. Uh, you know, how important is 
this defense or for this run defense to anchor down against this run heavy offense? Well, it's really important. Or you're you're not going to win the game. I mean, if you can't stop stop them running the football, you're not going to win the game. So you know, I think that's really important for us to to be able to make the ball stretch out onto the perimeter. You know, if we can stop them inside and make it stretch out to the perimeter, and then you got to be assignment sound. You know, they're going to just when you your eyes are relaxed, they're going to hit you with a pass. You know, and then you got to so you got to play your assignment. Everybody has a job to do do your assignment and uh, that gives you a chance. It's when you get frustrated or you get undisciplined with your eyes, that's when they get you. They do a great job of, of taking advantage of those things. I know it was just the first game of the year, but the offense obviously clicked. Just that first game of having Coach Kip lead some new staff guys, new players, new transfers, just your overall thoughts on how everything put together week one? Uh, as good as it possibly can be. I think, again, you, you keep hearing me say the, the – what what's been here with the old and the new and the and I, I couldn't imagine a better formula. It's like those guys would work together forever. I mean, it was awesome to listen to Coach Kitley talk to Coach Ellis in the box and Coach Ellis giving him feedback and suggestions. It was awesome to hear Coach Hamby, the offensive line coach, and, and Coach Langford, who is uh, works with the tight ends, and he's sitting there, you know, communicating what they're seeing, and then. Coach Crawford and Coach Locke are, are talking, and you know it was. It's like it's always been. It's like it's always been that when we were at our best, all all the coaches had a piece of it, and then it's the offense coordinator's job to make all those pieces work. And uh, so it was great to see. It was great to see out there. You know, a guy that came on strong the end of last year, uh, Nick Days. I don't remember seeing him Thursday. Uh, I guess what's his status for this weekend? He he had a, a ankle injury. I'm hoping to get him back this week. Uh, he's working through that. We'll see. He's another one. We'll see if we can get him back this week. And you know, that group of linebackers kind of going off of that, um, you know, a lot of new faces in there. Will Ignon seemed like he was, you know, all over the place. He came, was in there. He's been here for a long time. I guess what do you think of that position group? Uh, they, were, they were good, you know. I think uh, a little bit green with it being the first game of the season. Um, you always improve in your second game. They're going to need to improve, to be honest with you, if we're going to win this game. But, you know, I, I think we got pieces there. I really do. Like I said in the presser right after the game, I think there's a lot of things we need to fix, you know. And I'm not talking about deep. I'm talking about just as a team in general. Um, but I think we got a group there in the linebacker position that could be a solid group for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you know, whether we are or not, we always want that opportunity. I think our guys look forward to it. Uh, you've always heard me say we want to be a part of the national conversation, you know, and, and this is a great platform to be on starting with this game. You know, we'll take it one game at a time, but um, I can't think of a better opportunity on the 20 year anniversary of September 11th to play at Army, a great football team. and try to go get a win up there. So if we want to be a good football team, it's, it's going to be a tough road, but it's one that we embrace and look forward to.